Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I will mention about a distance in n parameter persistent homology, uh, so called multi dimensional metric distance. Um, before giving the definition of the multi dimensional metric distance, I will give some backgrounds and the definition itself. Then uh, I will give some properties about that distance. Uh, let me start with the definition of persistence module uh, in higher parameter case. Uh, an n parameter persistence module M over a field F is a family of vector spaces uh, with a family of linear maps between vector spaces such that uh, for every partial order, uh, we have the following equalities like uh, from MU to MV and then MV to MW, uh, it is nothing but the same linear map uh, MU to MV. Uh, similarly, the, the li linear map from um, the vector space to itself is nothing but the identity linear uh, map. So these are the cases. So what is partial order means? Uh, partial order U is less U is partially less than V means each component of U is less than uh, each component of V. Okay. So now look, look at the definition of rank invariant. Uh, the rank invariant for persistence module M is defined uh, as the rank of the linear map between vector spaces for each for every. Uh, U is partially less than V in Rn. Okay, this is the definition of uh, rank invariant. This is important because we will look the distance between rank invariant, uh, the distances between rank invariant for persistence module. Okay, now before coming to the definition of multi dimensional metric distance, let's discuss uh, the notion of restriction of a given persistence module M to do line L. So let M be an N parameter persistence module and L be a line with unit direction vector. Uh, the components are between zero and one. Uh, and this unit direction vector uh, is for the max norm. Okay, so the, the components cannot be exceed one and through point uh, passing through the B, the line passing through the point B in RN. Okay, so we have this kind of lines and we have a N parameter first module M. Uh, thanks to this restriction, we will get one parameter persistence module. Uh, that's the reason uh, we are doing this. So uh, after restriction, restricting the persistence module M to the line L, uh, we will obtain one parameter persistence module uh, by using the following equalities, such as uh, MU is nothing but actually uh, M to the L at T. So we assign the same vector spaces uh, during that parameterization. So MU is nothing but uh, M to the L sub T. And similarly, linear maps between vector spaces MU, MU prime is nothing but the linear uh, maps between one dimensional uh, vec the vector spaces of one dimensional persistence modules. Okay, so this is the definition of restricting uh, n parameter persistence module to one parameter uh, persistence, uh, restricting n parameter persistence module to the line L. Okay, so uh, so please keep in mind that what we obtain, the, the last persistence module we obtain is one parameter. So everything is, uh, you know, understood very well, uh, known very well in one parameter case. So this is one of the advantage of restriction. So let's discuss the, the uh, distance it, uh, itself. Okay, the definition of metric distance. Uh, the matching distance, uh, let M and B, M parameter persistence modules, 
The matching distance on rank invariance, uh, it is denoted rho n and rho n, is defined by the following equation. So what we are what we are doing basically is since uh, m to the l and similarly m to the l are one parameter persistence modules, uh, we can we uh, we can have uh, but uh, barcodes you know in one dimensional case. So since we have a barcode, two different barcodes, we can compute the bottleneck distances between barcodes. And this M star is for the normalizing. So M star is nothing but the minimum of the components. So we are taking supremum of all the lines uh, we have mentioned above. Okay, so the matching distance on rank invariant uh, is taking uh, restriction, uh, taking restriction of persons module M and N to the line L, and look at the their bottleneck distance multiply with M star, and do it for all the lines uh, which uh, applies the rule above, and take the supremum of it. This is nothing but the magic distance. Okay, so. What is what are the properties of this distance? Um, first of all, uh, this matching distance is extended. That is, uh, it may take infinity as a value, and it is also uh, not a metric but pseudo metric for persistence modules, even for finitely uh, presented uh, persistence module. It is a pseudo metric, not metric, because we may have two non-isomorphic persistence module such that uh, their metric distance is zero. That's why it can it's a pseudometric. Uh, you can see the reference for the details. Secondly, uh, the metric distance is a good distance because it makes rank invariant stable. Uh, and what we know is so far. Uh, matching distance is a lower bound for the interleaving distance. Uh, this is a crucial um, statement because what we know in one dimensional uh, matching distance, bottleneck distance are equal. Even interleaving distance and bottleneck distance is e uh, are equal in one dimensional. It is so called isometry theorem because it's a, uh, since it is well known uh, and common fact, it, it has a special name for that. In, in one dimensional case, bottleneck distance and interleaving distance uh, are equal to each other, which is so-called isometric theorem, but this is not true in a higher parameter case. So this is one of the biggest, uh, one of the uh, big difference between one dimensional persistent homology and higher uh, parameter persistent homology. Okay, so these are my references for those who are interested in. I hope you enjoy the video. Goodbye.